Hey guys, it's Ben Tutorials, and I'm back. I have a new computer, I have a new recording system, I have CS4, Windows 7. All my videos are going to be in HD now. So, it's going to be great. I haven't made a video in a, in seven months, but um, <laughs> I'm going to get back into it. A lot of my videos have well over a thousand views now. And um, I'm picking up. I have 81 subscribers, so I'm probably going to have a 100 subscriber uh giveaway or some sort of thing so uh stay tuned but let's get into what we're doing today so what we're doing today is we're making pixel popping web 2.0 designs so i made this quick example here it probably took me about an hour to make but um i have all the elements of like a window 7 window now um so i have these edges here now this is what this is what we're going to be working on today so we have this uh very shiny crisp effect here so I'll show you how to make that. I'll show you several different techniques. I might even make a video on how to make this window itself if you guys request it a lot. So, uh, um, this is another example I made really quick. This is obviously not finished, but I was just making an example here with a bunch of different textiles. I'm going to get into this in a later video. Tons of new content is going to be coming out. Please subscribe and uh, rate or like whatever the new YouTube thing is. I know they're changing over. But, um,. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So, I just created a new um, fi a new uh, document like this. It's very big, tons of space to work with. So, there's uh, two different methods that you can do to make this pixel popping effect. The first one is using glows. So, let's make a rectangle box here and fill it with a nice gradient. So just get a nice gradient, that looks pretty good. So the next thing to do is to create a new filter here. Then you go to Shadow and Glow, and Glow. So we have this little glow there, but that's not what's going to make it yet. So we have to turn this color here to white, and then turn this uh, shading softness here to zero. Now, just for now, we're going to turn the opacity up to 100, just to see what it's like. And turn down the uh, thickness. So, you can take a brief second to look at the setup here. This will just create a nice line outside of it. And, uh, so, j because this is a white canvas, and there's a white glow, you won't really see any changes yet. But as soon as we add another glow, you'll be able to see it, which is the main idea. So we glow it, and you can see that now there is that white border. So the next thing to do is to choose a dark color, such as this one, and then set it to the same stats as it was before. Zero softness, 100% opacity, and one thickness. And take a look at it. You already have your first Web 2.0 looking thing. So um, there's a various other ways you can do this to make this cool effect. You can also, even if you want, round the rectangle. So if you want 10, so it creates that effect of a rounded rectangle. Now that is the only side effect of using glows. There is no anti-aliasing in glows because they're meant to be, you know, glows. <laughs> they're not supposed to have anti-aliasing. So if you zoom in here, you can see that it's not very pretty. <laughs> you can soft that up if you want or use this other method. I use this too when I uh, don't re when glows aren't applicable or it's not worth it or it just glows just don't work. So there's another way you can do this, and you can set the uh, actual line here to white, and that will automatically create a white line around it. Yeah, you of course you can set it to outside, inside, you know, do whatever. But um, now in order to get the black line around it without adding a glow. You can't. You have to control C, control V. So we have two rectangles of the same thing here, and we actually have to make the width two more than it already is. So see how this is 802. So we want to make this 804, and this is 232. Oop. So this should be 230, 234. So now it's two pixels bigger both ways. And you need to make the X one less than it already is, and the Y one less than it already is. Okay, so now this should thing we should be one pixel bigger on all four sides. 
you can uh, drag that to the bottom or whichever works best so we're now going to set none here and then for this pixel here we can set one color and there we go so this is basically a transparent box here I'll move it around Q would be the best here so and if you click off you can see that it's just a large line that goes around it. So let's put it whoop. Let's put it back there. So this is a anti aliased line, of course. So that looks much nicer than the previous glow method. So you can use both for whichever reason. Now I'm gonna go back to the my company example here to show you this thing. I I use this example here where this is just a black box and one thing that I did with the outside one is that I gave it transparency. So as if you can look closely, it gets darker as it goes up here and lighter up here. That can uh, provide a better transition around it and stuff. And I was just making a button bar here. Um, whatever. Okay, so I use that same technique here because of the rounded corners. And this is a technique that is new that I haven't showed you guys yet. Let me zoom in here. So this is called the two pixel divide. So basically th this doesn't have a border there. I just put one line, I drew a line straight across and I made it this darker color. And I did one line across and it was this lighter oh, and it was this lighter color. So as you can see it was just two lines and I just combined them together to create that nice shiny effect. Now you can also do this with uh colors. So now how you do it with colors is a little bit different. Um, so say if I wanted this box to be blue. So let's create a nice blue. That looks pretty good. But the white and the black really doesn't work. The main thing that doesn't work is the black around that side. It just doesn't fit. So of course you would um, take the one that has the black outline. And you're, what you're going to do is you're going to select the darkest color as close as you can. It doesn't have to be right on the edge. But it can be a pretty dark color. The darkest one in there. And you're going to want to click on here then the color picker and then you're gonna slide down this little luminosity thing a decent amount so it's still bluish so that looks much nicer now so you can see that it is a uh, has that bluish tint and it creates that 3d pixel popping cool effect that's basically uh pixel popping with uh in fireworks cs4 so have fun making your web 2.0 designs. And again, if you want me to show you how to make this window, I'll make a uh, video on it. And uh, so, uh, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, see you later.